Shalom, this is Rabbi Gabriel Tornick speaking, back again with the first part of the Neshama series. It's called Unification, it's the Shema Yisrael. We're going to be talking about how to do the Shema Yisrael, what it means, and what you're supposed to be achieving when you do it. So as I said, it's called Unification. What is unification? Well, unification is combining something that seems to be two things together and making it into one. How do you do it? Well, if it's a regular physical thing, then maybe you'll have to melt it to put it together, or maybe you'll have to pour two different types of things together if they're a liquid. And if it's harder, you might have to push them together very hard to piece it to become one. But in our case, we're talking about spiritual concepts. And the way you combine two spiritual concepts is in your mind, with your intentions. Why do you need to do this? Because if you have two separate things, just like you have syrup and water, you put them together, it makes juice. So there's an advantage to having the two things become one. Here we have a spiritual concept of the physical reality and the spiritual reality. <coughs> And is what we want to do is we want to bring them both together. Now, what does the spiritual reality have that the physical reality does not have? It has a certain revelation that allows you, well, not you, but the beings that exist on the spiritual planes to feel like they are connected to godliness like they are connected to the power of creation and they don't feel separated from it here on the physical plane however all you have to do is look around you to see that you are separate and it's very easy for people to come to believe that maybe you even weren't created but you went through a process called evolution well that's what happens when you look around you and you see the physical reality you can easily be fooled into thinking that things physically evolve S certain things did physically evolve a wood did evolve into a bookshelf but then there are other things that didn't evolve now when we know the spiritual reality which is the vitalizing reality of all things even all things in the physical world realm and you want to take that reality of unity where the spiritual unity doesn't feel itself as being separate from godliness from its creator from its source you want to take it and bring that understanding bring that concept down into this physical world where we exist and begin to train your mind Train your understanding, your logic, to see creation, the physical creation, as if it too is unified with its creator and not separate, even though it may seem to be separate. The reason why you would want to do this is because 
when you live a life in this physical world in a way that you see it as being one with you and you being one with it and them whatever it is then start to realize that since there's no separation especially between people <coughs> then you begin to live differently you begin to live like you're part and parcel of everything in existence everything in creation and when you live like this things seem to meld together and things seem to be one even people's behaviors you start to get in tune with a certain a flow of what's going around you a rhythm that you're part of and that everything's flowing nicely together nothing's out of balance and if it seems to you like something's out of balance but you believe and you train yourself to know that it's part of the rhythm it's part of the balance then you will also feel that you're part of that balance and part of that rhythm and part of that unity and that oneness and it automatically brings to you a certain calm a certain understanding a certain realization that everything is one now who is this good for it's good for you it's good for everybody around you when you feel that everything is one when you feel that your part in creation is to grow become better improve yourself to look at things around you and learn from them how to be a better person to hear things that are going on around you and understand from that how to be a better person how to grow how to develop how to expand yourself how to expand your influence how to expand your consciousness and you're not worried about changing the other guy because you see that the way that other person acts and the way that other person lives is also part of the way things are supposed to be and it's up to that person to work on themselves and to help themselves to grow and develop and become better and when you let them do that on their own without helping them feel like they're incompetent if they don't or that they have to change then it will help them feel secure when they feel secure around you they will feel more secure around themselves and when they feel more secure around themselves then they will automatically begin to grow themselves that's it for today we'll continue with the shema in the next video that will come soon i'd like to thank the violinist mordechai brodsky for the nigun avinu malkenu remember to like and share with friends and family i invite you to make an appointment for a free consultation Please send me your feedback and ideas of meditations that you'd like me to work on. Thank you for joining me. Have a Shana Tovah.